Hello. What I'm going to do is go through a basic setup of a saltwater tank and this is uh, set up as a fish only tank. This tank is has only had live fish in it for about three weeks so it's still being established which I'll go over on the biological filter. Anyways let me just go over the tank. It's 125 gallons um, and one thing you want to make sure you have on your tank is a top and the top is real important because if you don't have a top you're going to have a lot of evaporation. Now salt water can be expensive if you don't live like the coast like I do but um, actually I got my water straight out of the intercoastal and so when I got the water it was quite dirty and I used the canister filter for about a week and the canister filter has a micron filter that uh, actually polish the water. I'll, I'll go over that filter in a little bit. What you see in the tank basically is a bunch of little bait fish that I caught and because when you set a saltwater tank up you need to establish it and that means get the biological filter working and so you need some species in there live so I caught a bunch of little bait fish right out of the intercoastal and I also have a hermit crab in here someplace and uh, well actually uh, last week I got a trigger fish actually I got three well, not trigger fish but file fish I caught they're kind of cool but the other fish they're just kind of like bait fish and pretty much will be eaten when I put another fish in there Anyways, let me go over a little bit of the functions of the filter and the setup. So anyways, I mentioned the canister filter and this filter really proved itself right away because uh, the water I got was extremely dirty out of the intercoastal. It was actually low tide. And I used, uh, this filter has two functions, one is water polishing and the other has a foam filter which can act a little bit like a biological filter and then inside that there is a canister that can put activated charcoal which can help polish your water even more and get rid of some of the harmful chemicals and stuff. But the first week I had this tank I set it up with nothing but the water and I ran this filter in it. This filter would go inside replacing that blue foam and inside that is the activated charcoal. This is a micron filter that really polishes the water good and it turned green water crystal clear uh, within a week. I had to clean the filter once a day. It was pulling so much trash out. Now this filter is a standalone filter. It has its own pickup in the tank and exit. The pickup for the canister filter is right here in the tank. It's kind of picking the water up a little bit below mid-level. And then exiting uh, with that port there. It has a nice flow to it. The canister filter though is not really required, uh, but I do highly recommend it. Uh, one filter that is absolutely necessary is called a wet-dry filter. This is a biological filter and you always need a biological filter. This completes an eco cycle so basically it's got to go through a cycle. Uh, and the wet dry filter is pretty much a huge sump under the tank. Ignore these two units here. These are separate filters. They actually sit in the sump but right now I'm going to be talking about the biological filter, wet dry filter. So the wet dry filter gets its water intake from a collection box that hangs off the side and basically you have a box uh, sitting inside the tank that collects the water and, it, and basically the water is fed as a siphon. These two U-tubes are creates a siphon and it goes into this box in the back here and obviously it's set up so that if the pump should fail taking the water out of the bottom you would not flood your house and I'll go through the filters in more detail if um, this video gets enough hits 
But anyway, so you're siphoning your water, you're going down through the tubes here, and you're going into the sump that I showed you, the wet dry. So your so your siphon comes through here, it drops through the top of your wet dry filter. There's a little um, filter on top of that that just collects big degree. And then you have these what they call bio balls. And this is where all the action takes place as the fish waste and stuff collects on these bio balls. It actually creates a bacteria that eats away and, and thrives off the waste. And what they um, expel is a lot less harmful to the fish. So the biological filter is extremely important. Then it goes after the treated water goes through here, you got to get it back into your tank. And that's where I'm going to show you the sump pump that pumps it back up. Hopefully you can kind of get an idea, but there's the sump pump. And that is a rated pump for this uh, wet dry filter. So it can keep up with pretty much the flow rate of, of what's siphoning in the tank. That sump pump is just pumping it right back up into the tank and I'll show you where. The water will come up through this line and then it goes back around and it's coming out that dispenser. So this tank actually has quite a bit of flow because I'm using two, two different um, pump systems. One for uh, independent as a canister and then this pump pumping out of the um, wet dry. Now I mentioned that a wet dry filter is absolutely critical in a, a salt water tank and that is true. One other thing that is definitely critical is protein skimmers. That's what we're looking at here with these here. Now protein skimmer actually sits in your wet dry filter in the sump. What They're independent. They have motors that uh, pump and mix air together. What happens is it creates a bunch of sea foam. It, it creates a bunch of small bubbles and the bubbles actually catch uh, waste as it's going through the water. And it'll go up through the collection cup, bubble up through, and then drop down in this collection cup. And you can see the waste, it's very nasty and it really does a good job. When it gets to a certain point, it hits this tube and it goes out into, I use a coffee can, to a drain cup and you just clean that out. You would clean these cups uh, about once a week or so. So that concludes Saltwater Tank 101. Kind of went over the filters very briefly. Uh, kind of went over establishing a tank briefly. And like I said, you know, there's just a bunch of little bait fish in here. And actually they've grown quite a bit in the three weeks they've been in here. Um, the trigger fish are I keep calling them the uh, file fish I caught are kind of exciting. I'll keep those. The bait fish will probably get eaten up when I put a predator or two in there. Actually, I plan on putting a barracuda in this tank. And so, anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if I get enough hits, I'll go into more detail on on each filter maintenance, uh, how to start the siphon. I have a very good trick on starting the siphon and a little more explanation of how the cycling works. Thank you so much.